Raila Odinga announced for Saba Saba and he said they are going to make declaration on Saba Saba Day. So those who are within Nairobi, they are welcome at Kamkunji grounds for the Saba Saba Day. I don't know if you are prepared and if you are prepared you can tell us in the comment section for those who are not within Nairobi. Again, it is coming out clear that this Saba Saba will not only be taking place in Nairobi. If you check on the Kenyans and the way they are talking about Saba Saba, it is beyond any reasonable doubt that then there will be countrywide demonstrations taking place on Saba Saba Day. It's like every county in this country they are prepared for Saba Saba Day. And the only thing for them, they want mass action. Remember, he has not called for mass action on Saba Saba. He called for a, a mass rally, and that rally there is a declaration they are going to make. It will be either to call for a daily demonstrations or a second chance to kick someone from office or whichever way. But seemingly, it is a time of its own that the Azimilo Moja side is going to plant a sense of direction in masses against the impunity that Kenyans have passed through in William Ruto's hands. Right from the financial bill, right from the cost of living, right from the jobs, right from the basic needs and all those things. There are so many problems that Kenyans have. First, we have the case in the court and Kenyans are waiting for the ruling. So, the Saba Saba Day is going to bring a change in this country as far as what the Azimio is going to adopt and the direction they're going to give to Kenyans. But if you check on social media, you will realize that Kenyans are more than ready for anything. You look on how they are talking, check on how they are even trying to reach out to one another. People are now even just coming out to popularize for the Saba Saba Day. They want mass action, nothing else. If you listen to them, they're saying that Ruto should just go. They don't want to hear anything about Ruto because it's like he lied to them and he is back on a campaign. So the issue is that if Ruto is back on a campaign, then it automatically means that he's not going to deliver. He wants to continue on program of giving promises. So Kenyans are tired with someone who is, is coming back with a, a scheme of promise rather than delivery. And because of all this, people are saying, Ruto must go. And the emerging issue is that there is going to be a country-wide Saba Saba Day demonstrations. Right from Nairobi, you go to Kiambu, you come to Western, you go to Nyanza, you go to Lower Eastern, you go to Turkana, you go to Mandera. Across the country, people are going to demonstrate, be it Mount Kenya region. Whichever place you want to mention, you go to coast everywhere. Now, cool people are ready. Rift Valley is ready for Saba Saba Day. And that is a moment that Ruto cannot stop at all. That is the current situation. Many schools are not going to open. People are not going to open their jobs. People are not going to work. It is literally a Saba Saba Day. So shops are going to shut down and people are going to come out in their numbers. Those who have been putting on their tie and go to work are removing their tie. People are saying, we are ready for Saba Saba Day. So without wasting time, I want to leave you here with the different clips from different locations whereby Kenyans are declaring their interest to go for the Saba Saba Day and show their anger towards William Samai Ruto. So I want you to watch, but again, Remember to subscribe and share our video where necessary and again, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Watch this video and see you in our next video. Yes. Article 43 of our constitution gives us a light to socio-economic issues, including light to food. Light to basic things, including movement. As it is today, we have very many families that cannot afford three meals a day. In fact, many cannot even afford a meal a day. We are unable to move from one point to, to another. 
moving from your place of residence to your place of work is becoming impossible where you can generate income for the government to, to tax you. Tomorrow we have an opportunity to join other Kenyans and tell this government enough is enough. When we cannot meet our basic needs as human beings, that government has no reason to be in power or let me put it differently. Those who are in office of government led by the president himself, Amaudi Anajita president, has no, has no right to remain there. And tomorrow is a day for us to say loudly, enough is enough. This high cost of, or this high cost of living must be brought down, must be reduced. Maandamano ni lazima, mpende msipende maandamano ni lazima, muli tudanganya. Nyi, sisi wa mama wa mboga tuliambio tutajaka pesa kikapuni. Saizi tunalia nja, sikari ni shilingi miatano, tulikuwa tunanunua miambili ya msini, saizi ni shilingi miatano. Tunatoa wapi, konza mimi ni mjane, na mini mtu wa soko. Saizi maisha ni ngumu, ruto alitudanganya, ruto ni mkora alitudanganya. Abari zenu, mimi naituwa Joseph Kagai. Na leo nimekamruku ambia kitu moja Hii life imefika mali Kila mkenya lazima utoke Hii story miondoka mambo ilikuwa Juni chama fulani wala fulani Hii story ya maisha yetu sisi wenyewe Ugisike hii firimi na pigwa Kesho ni kutokea kwanza hii story ya maufisi 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 kila saa Hii story tunawacha Kesho sisi wadetu kwa kwa streets Hadi zakai watoke Zakai kwanza wasongo matri Kesho dinga zote tuneka parking Tuneka kwa rodi Hii life imekuwa mbaya Hii life haikuwa unbearable wa mama, ma youth, wa zae tupalene kwa streets, kila mtu Sia tunataka Friday kwa mana ni saba saba dunia igawanyike marambili Mimi niko tayari, hata niko tayari kufa as a human rights defender in Turkana nitasimama na waturkana ambaye mimi nimezaliwa hapa, sita kubali waturkana wangaike, niko tayari kufa kwa sabi yao na misi yogobi kushikwa niko tayari kushikwa tutare saba, tusipo kufa na tarehe saba tunataka tukuve wale wanabaki wapate kununua unga kilo mbili kwa shilingi mia moja ama sio hivyo yeah. ama sio hivyo yeah. kitu wa pili saba saba inajulikana ni ile siku tulipata multiparty ile siku watu walifungwa ile siku watu wa msini walikufa yeah. na hii saba saba iko hii tunataka kuambia William mruto wao unasema onjo president ya Kenya wacha ni kuambia po upe leo mchana hii kama jagua giza mchana hii kuwa tayari Friday kuua wa Kenya saidi ya miyamoja. Na usipo uwa, tunajua unga itashuka. Lakini ukuua, mini kuwa moja wao. Najua nitakufa, ule mtoto wangu atabaki, atapata kunua unga na shilingi miyamoja. Kama siya hivyo, kitu wapili nata kuambia Raila Molo Odinga. Nikikuwa hapa Turkana, Kenya tunayenda kugawana tare saba musu wa saba. Tukue na country mbili, ambaye taongine na wangoza na ule ya msamo ruto, na ingine na wangoza na Raila Amolo Odinga. Sabu ye njo president wetu. Na kulingana na mimi kapisa. Mimi nitasema ukweli. Hakuna hacha tuendele kusema. Mambo ina hiko sawa. Hakuna kitu inaendelea sawa. Tunaumia kwa ground. Mutu mwenye anasema hapa maisha inaenda sawa. Ni ule mutu wa mepewa shamba na nyumba na ngombe. Haka ambiwa endelea. Lakini sisi ni watu tumeanzia maisha town. Tumenunua kila kitu town. Hakuna mtu wanatusaidia, watu wa tumezawea kuwasol. Mambo wa mafuta, mafuta yuko juu sana. Hata tunashindo tufanyia nini magari. Mafuta ikienda juu, abiria ataki kuongeza transport, unapembeleza abiria, kuna mwenye anakuja analia, sasa hata unashindo ufanyia nini. Kuna matajiri wa magari nyumbani, wenye wametupea magari hapa tunatumia town, tukibeba abiria. Hawa watu nao wanaona maybe hata sisi tunatumia pesa na tuwafikishi Lakini sasa kusema ukweli Garama ya mafuta hiko juu sana Hiyo ndi angashukisha kapsa Kwa sababu sasa ukiangalia sasa Kama sasa saizi gari ya Nairobi unakuta inalipa 1200 Inafaa sasa saizi ikuwe hata 15 Kwa sababu sasa ukiangalia imagine Utafanya aja 1200 gari itakunya mafuta ya 7000 kutoka kakamega mbaka Nairobi Ofisi itabaki na nini? Management baki na nini? Magari ya kamera. Kitiwa nyumina sambea rais wetu tuni kwamba. Iyo mafuta ni apandisha matumisa. Ashukisha mafuta, apandisha pombe. Iyo iliko lifiti yota apandisha. Ashukisha mafuta. Sisi kama wakaji wa Kapsabe. Ama Nandi County. Garama ya maisha imeenda juu saidi. Garama ya maisha, hata maisha imasa kutushinda. 
Tukiangalia vile mafuta imepanda. Ime, kila kitu imepanda. Hakuna kitu sasa bado iko chini. Na pesa yenye tunatengeneza mtu anaweza tengeneza 200. Na ukienda kwa duka 200 hiyo ni unga peke yake. Na kuna kitu kingine bado unataka tunapata. So maisha imetulemea ime kabisa. Sisi kama wananchi wa chini maisha imetulemea kabisa. Tunaomba tu serikali isaidie na iangalie jinsi ya kushukisha gharama ya maisha chini. Kushukisha kila kitu iko chini. Maisha sio ngumu. Hapa Ruto alifanya mambo. Tangu president wetu Tangu president wetu Tangu president wetu anzishe hii kazi ya kuleta mbolea. Sasa hizi tunakula kabisa bet county. Mahindi imeiva. Fiasi za hii, fiasi za hii iko. Hii mambo ya kusema karama karama hakuna. Wakisema mafuta ni all world white. So ruta president wetu wako sawa. Tunataka hii maisha ipate ikuwe ngumu kwa sababu mahindi imeiva. Kama huko umepata mahindi ama viasi hiyo ni yako. Sasa hii tunangangana tukifuna. Mvua tu inatushita. So hii makusema hii mambo ya maisha hakuna